There are numerous offers on the internet for simple and quick company formation. Websites are full of detailed step-by-step -step information. Even German entrepreneurs are drowning in terms. How can a foreigner understand the differences between the offers? In this video, we will explain what you should pay attention to when choosing a provider to open a Kapitalgesellschaft, such as GmbH, UG or AG, and also what risks and traps await a foreign entrepreneur on the way. Before you take a pen to note down the main benefits and disadvantages, make sure you are subscribed to our channel and have the notifications on, because we'll be posting more videos that will help you dominate the European market. Mohammed has dug through the whole internet studying various offers for company formation in Germany. He was really scared of choosing the wrong provider. In my country, there are a lot of people who cheat foreigners. Probably Germany is no exception. I can lose money and get serious legal problems in a foreign country. Unfortunately, that's possible. For example, after registration, a company in Germany gets approximately five misleading invoices that are almost identical to the invoices from official authorities. But how much will company formation cost in the end? And what exactly do those offers include? It is hard for a foreigner to understand, even among the offers of rather decent providers. This offer includes more than 20 positions and a spend less than 500 euros. It includes coordination and referrals, coordination of all formalities, filling out a couple of forms, template, 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 plenty of templates. For additional thousand euros, there are preparation of the articles of association, master Gesellschafterbeschluss, Gesellschafter list, again, drafting of something. And 20 more meaningless positions for a foreigner who knows nothing about documents required in Germany. Wait a moment. In addition to this, I must pay notary fees, registration fee. That's already more than 2,500 euros. What else? I'm looking for a provider to save time and effort. Instead, I must waste hours and hours studying what each of these documents is and also pay additional amounts that are much higher than the package price. No panic, let's figure this out. There are techniques where minor positions are split up to create an illusion that the client gets plenty of benefits for little money. Do you really need to see that the preparation of the company formation documents includes 20 positions? Don't you pay to specialists so that they save your time and just prepare all necessary paperwork for you? without overloading you with minor details, without hidden costs, without hidden information and risks. You also need to calculate the final price that includes all extra costs. Often, the extra costs increase the offer price by three or four times. Risk estimation, comfort and reliability of the whole process should also be important factors when choosing the provider. Risks. In the worst case scenario, I will lose only like 500 euros. Let's figure out what the final price of company formation consists of. For you, Mohammed, as a foreigner, it's important to estimate not only the cost of services, but also the cost of your journey to Germany, flights, accommodation and time. For some foreigners, it amounts to 7,000 euros for a trip. Each wrong step could lead you to having to go to Germany again and therefore to huge expenses. But I can register a company and make slight changes afterwards, right? Any change in the founding documents of the company also means additional expenses for the notary and legal services and also paying the registration fee. For example, even for a UG, just the notary fees for adding an additional shareholder or a managing director after company registration are around 1,500 euros, and the cost of closing a company reaches up tens of thousands of euros, and the process takes over a year. If you intend to apply for a residence permit in Germany as a self-employed, the company must be registered according to this intention. Just being a shareholder will not ensure a positive decision on your application for a residence permit as a self-employed. 
you must meet the requirements of self-employment as defined by Section 21 of the Aufenthaltgesetz. Not considering those requirements during company formation leads to rejection of the residence permit. I see. What other risks do I need to keep in mind? Let's see what the main risks and traps are. Someone helped you with filling out the forms for setting up a bank account. But are you sure that the bank will actually open an account for you? German banks are very restrictive in opening accounts for companies with non-German owners or managing directors. Many entrepreneurs from some of the non-EU countries are rejected by the banks even if the company is being registered in Germany. Do I need the bank account to carry on the company business? Not only. The account is needed for the company to be registered. After the founding documents are notarized, the share capital has to be deposited on the account of the company that is being registered. Failing to transfer the share capital in a certain time leads to failure of the company formation. You've found a virtual address for company formation? According to some notaries, 30% of the cases of setting up a company in Germany fail just because of non-delivery of the invoice for the registration fee at the place of company registration. How can it happen? Very simple. Signing up a contract with an unreliable provider, not informing the reception of the business center about a new company, not managing to pay the first rent on time, this all can lead to failure of company formation. What about tax and VAT numbers? If I get help with filling out the questionnaire for the tax and VAT numbers, will I get them with no trouble? Obtaining the tax and VAT numbers for a company with a foreign managing director is another very important but complicated procedure. Not even all tax advisors and tax offices themselves are familiar with it. On average, only in the process of getting the VAT and tax numbers, the tax office contacts the foreign entrepreneur five times with clarifying questions. Moreover, if the managing director is managing the company from outside of Germany, the application for the VAT number is to be made through an additional authority. This can be a real hassle. No need to say that all communication is held in German language only. I thought that everything is much simpler, but it turns out that risks await foreign entrepreneurs every step of the way. It's true that the company formation process for a foreigner is more complicated than for a German resident. To make the process maximally safe and comfortable, we developed a turnkey company formation package. It is developed specifically for foreigners. During 17 years of work, we have served clients from almost all over the world, from Asia to America. We know the traps that foreign entrepreneurs face. Based on the lessons learned, we have developed backup plans. The smooth work process is ensured because all stages of the project are managed by a certified project management professional in strict accordance with the international PMI-PMBOK standards. We keep double control of preparation of the company formation documents. With successfully registered companies, even when opening a bank account in Germany seemed impossible. No need to waste time studying a list of names of the founding documents that say nothing to you. No need to communicate with registration courts and tax authorities. Leading Nexus experts prepare all the documents and apply for company formation, tax and VAT numbers by themselves, without any hidden fees, without hiding essential information. In many cases, we can even register a company without your personal arrival to Germany. Setting up a company with us is safer than a journey accompanied by a presidential motorcade. Contact us right now to form a company in Germany. In most of the cases, we can register a company even without your personal visit. If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up.